We by no means claim to be professionals or masters of any craft. We are artists. And like many of you, students of life just looking to learn new things in this wonderful world of YouTube. So, if this sounds like your kind of place, welcome to the workshop. Brothers, one vision. Hello and welcome to Wowie's Workshop. Wowie's Workshop. Flashing them dubs. Where we use art to get us through. Um, everyone uses art, music, gardening, whatever your thing may be. Everybody does it for their own reasons. My big particular reason is because of uh, back pain and other things on a physical level where I use the art these days. I used to just love to draw, but I use the art these days as therapy, literal therapy. And uh, I love it. It's without it, I wouldn't be here. Um, Wowie's Workshop is brought to you by Two Brothers One Vision. This is going to be fun, guys, because I've been watching YouTube videos on how to use this thing. It's a static grass um, system. Applicator and all of the different grasses in here. And this here is the uh, glue. An adhesive glue, but you can also pour it out and use a paintbrush. The glue. This here is the Pro Grass Micro static grass applicator and this is from a company called war world scenics www.wwscenics.com and uh i just found it from youtube good old youtube and because i flock things i use flocking which is um traditionally used like on the bottom and bases of stuff or bookends or a statue or something they'll flock the bottom so it's a it traditionally is green um, velvet powder and then you um, use paint or adhesive to glue it to the thing and that's that's flocking and so I use flocking like as a moss and stuff and uh, but it's one solid color flocking comes in like black green red uh, maybe a few others but um, the main ones are green and black and red and uh, people use it for the inside of boxes and stuff um, little wooden boxes that they make Okay, static grass applicator. I'm sorry, you guys, I ramble. So, hey, don't like ramble? If you don't like a ramble jamble, this might not be the place for you. This is the static grass applicator, and you're going to put in a 9-volt battery into it, and then see the powder stuff goes in there. Um, there is a current. When I show you how it works, you'll understand that there has to be a little current involved. And so that, it looks like a flashlight. That's the applicator. Alrighty. And then in here, we have different mo um, grasses and I guess moss you can call it. And But they're all blended, right? Like grass is never one color. So this is all blended. And uh, they've done it like winter colors, autumn. And then the, the length, because that you can, you can start off with a two millimeter and then um, next use four millimeter and you can do it, you do it various in, le in levels to really give the, the punch of real grass, like how nature does it. Here's a six millimeter spring. So that the spring season colors and the six millimeters, so that's the longest stuff. That's the, the quacky grass. And so I got all of those. It wasn't cheap. We used tax return money. Thank God that we got some of that. It's going to be the first, like I say, it's not going to be a review. I've been watching how the stuff works. The uh, only way it's not going to work is if I mess it up. But we're going to uh, next go to some video of uh, me, me trying it out and a close-up. And uh, we'll see how that little current thing goes with the wire and stuff. 
thank you for watching this far. Please stay tuned. Okay, well, I've been applying the, the glue. Putting the grass into the applicator. Turning the applicator on. Okay. So, as you can see, that little two, two millimeter stuff stuck to the glue and it stood up. And that's the magic of this. And now I'll, next I'll do a layer of the four millimeter and then I'll do a layer of six millimeter and we'll see how this little section looks and remember this is the fake grass that I was testing so far I'm stoked on that that's pretty cool and that's how you do it is you just layer it it creates I guess a circuit of some sort but I haven't figured that part out. I just know that the thing is like a magic wand for moss and other things. So next I'll do some more of the steps there and we'll see how it looks in the end. Thank you. So here I am with my test block, just doing a little layer of the four millimeter, giving that a go. This stuff is so fun, man. I am so stoked for this stuff. So here I am, just getting some of the six millimeter ready. The four went really good. Oh, that worked good. Just brush the two bunches of it together. Oh, that worked nice. Okay, putting the six millimeter in. Now for this, I'm going to give it just off camera one more spray so I don't spray it all over the here. Of the four millimeter that just went on. All right, got the spray adhesive applied. And now that I got the six millimeter grass in there, and I uh, quickly watched another video since doing this part and you just need to have the clip close into the vicinity like this. The clip just has to be close. So here we go. bit left in there but most of it is out and oh my goodness oh, that is so neat and there we go folks there is the sample piece do you see all of that awesome grass in the two millimeter four millimeter and six millimeter lengths very very easy three applications with your applicator again War World Scenics, and there do a screenshot. You can get that there. Their website. There's the adhesive. Um, that comes out pretty. Uh, you know, it's a spray, but it's not aerosol, so you have to be careful when you're spraying that. So keep that in mind. Um, if it's a really, really dainty job, I would use a brush um, if you can in between. 
but make sure you uh, really, really let it dry in between if you're gonna use a brush to apply it, or else it'll just wipe away. And that's what I've learned. It's, this is my very first go with it. Here I've just been putting what's left over in the applicator into this little jar. I'll keep that. You know, there's some things that you can do that aren't, don't you don't wanna put as much care into or whatever. And it's good to reuse everything, man. Okay, folks, I love this stuff. And I cannot wait to incorporate it into new projects. Hope you guys have had a good time here at Wowie's Workshop. Much more to come. And remember, there is no YouTube without you. Much love, guys. And now what you see here is me working on my gnome and three mushroom piece for the past carbon fusion challenge a little while back. And I'm using, using the brush and starting with the two, going to the four. I had already flocked this in areas with the traditional flock. So now I'm doing it over and then spots of just, just the new stuff, the new static grass on top of my little mushrooms there. Just for a little added touch. Oh man, I had so much fun with this stuff. And in closing, let's take a little look at this piece now. I used the static grass on these little wooden balls, sprayed them, applied it, attached them with dowel. There's the Nomi. And I used the static grass on top of the flocking that I had previously put on. And it works so great. There's the little cinder of soul. The magic mushroom man. Thank you for taking this learning journey with me today. And thank you to War, War World Scenics for such a cool product. I'm so stoked for what's to come. Much love, everybody. Until next time.